hope the quarantine period is fine and you're not going too crazy. There are lots of initiatives happening in the world. Some good, some bad. But uh, this part here is where I highlight some of the good ones that I've come across. Have you ever heard of Roger Corman? He's a cinema legend. He's celebrated for being a B-movie king. But aside from making so many of those vintage horror, thriller, crime, action movies that we know and love, he is also responsible for having kick-started the careers of an incredible amount of names who are now among the most celebrated figures of American and international cinema. Well, Roger Corman posted a video on his social media a few weeks ago where he launched a quarantine film festival. So I'm just going to let Roger himself tell you what it's all about. Hello. I'm Roger Corman. Hopefully you're staying home and staying healthy. My wife and I are doing the same. We'd like to try something with you. We're looking for the next great film director. A surprising number of Academy Award winning film directors have started with me. Therefore, we've decided to start something new. The first and hopefully last Corman Quarantine Film Festival. The rules are simple. The short film must be filmed inside your home or your backyard. The film must be under two minutes. The cast can be your family or whoever is in your house with you. The equipment is your cell phone and the lights and lamps you have at your house. The story can be anything you imagine. The winning short will be featured on my social media and website. We will make a trailer for the film and the director will receive a signed certificate from me as well as a Best Picture Award for the first and last Corman Quarantine Film Festival. Well, there you have it, folks. That's where he is. That's how he does it. Corman is calling out for your movie to get your phones out and make a movie for him. And this guy is someone who knows all about working within restrictions and on a shoestring budget. I mean, he brides himself for having made an entire film in two days. And that film ended up being The Little Shop of Horrors from 1960. I'm also a big fan of A Bucket of Blood. I think he released that around the same period, maybe a few years before The Little Shop of Horrors. Can't remember exactly. But anyways, isn't it crazy? He's 94 years old, but looks and sounds better than most people I know who are a third of his age, including myself.